Hi, today I'm going to make Rose of Sharon or Hibiscus Cerecos, a very pretty flower. Materials required are crepe paper in pink, white, green, thin wire, a thick wire, a red colored pen, a yellow colored pen, some cotton wool and a green floral tape. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is the stencil for the stamen strip. This is 1.5 by 5 centimeters. Cut one piece. This is of the bud. This is 3.5 by 3.5 square. Cut as many as you like. This is of the petal. This is 7 centimeters by 4.25 centimeters. The stem is 2 by 0.75 centimeters. Cut five pieces per flower. Then this is of the sepal. This is 2.5 by 3 centimeters. Cut one piece. This is of the bract. This is 2.5 by 1.5. Cut one piece. This is of the, these are the leaves. The small leaf is 3.5 by 1.5. And the bigger leaf is 7.5 by 5 centimeters. Cut as many as you like. For the bud, cut a piece of thin wire. This is about 6, 6.5 centimeters long. Now take some cotton wool. A slightly bigger piece than normal. Spread it, spread it, take the wire, apply glue on one end, and then just put this wool on it, pushing it down a bit, and then just rolling it. So try to make a slightly conical kind of a shape like this. Now take the piece, stretch it, apply glue, put it on top of the bud, fold it over like this. Now just give pleats. and twist the ends. It becomes like this. Now take the sepal. And apply glue on the sepals also. Stick it on the bud. Twisting the ends. So it looks like this. Now take the piece for the bract and stretch it well apply glue and just stick it almost at the same height as the sepal Like this. Take a piece of the green floral tape and wind it from the base. Till the end. Now cut another strip 
uh, sorry, a piece of the thin wire. This is about 9 centimeters long for the flower. Now I've cut a small strip of the white paper. So just stretch it. Apply glue on it. And wind it on one end of the wire. Covering about you know three fourth of the wire like this. Now take the yellow colored pen and the stamen strip. So I'll just color one end, you know, like this, lightly, a very thin line. Similarly on this side also. Like so. Now just stretch the strip a bit. And fold it. And then make slits on it. First just cut the fold leaving a little gap on the other side and then cut very thin strips. Like this. So open it. And get stamen like this. Now just apply glue on the base. So first just roll it once on the top and then steadily take it downwards okay, I had almost cut it across here You get a stamen strip like this. Just open the mouth a bit. Now I've got another strip of the white paper. So just apply some glue. This was about 3 centimeters long. So I'll just wind it here at the base of the stamen and wind it at the same spot so this is where the petals would come kind of a base strip now take the red pen take a petal and just on the base first just draw a kind of a cup shape like this and then you know filaments like this and then just fill up the empty area so this is what you get 
so I'll do with the others also. Now take the petal and first just curl the stem backwards like so. Flip the petal over and then give a very gentle curve in the front. So it's like an S shape. Now give a you know a few sort of stretches in the center so that the crease shows and then just stretch the edge of the petal so you get that wavy kind of a petal like this I have already done with these so now just apply glue at a corner like this take the second petal and stick it like this at an angle forming a fan shape like this. Now just apply glue on the last one and all of them. Like this. Take the stamen wire. Now end of the stamen should come where this uh, red fan is. So put it there and then just Stick the flower. Overlapping the first one also. And just press the base. So this is how the flower would look. So now just take the sepal, apply glue and stick it below the petals. Then take the brat and again as we did earlier stretch it well. Apply glue again on the base and stick it so that the bracts come in between each sepal. Like this. Now take some green tape and wind it from the base of the flower to the end of the wire. So you get a flower like this. For the leaf cut a piece of thin wire. This is about 13 to 13 and a half centimeters long. Take the green tape, stretch it and wind it on the wire.
like this. Now take the leaf. First just score in the center and then give the lines for the veins. And just sort of stretch the edges in different directions. And then apply glue. And stick it. Now to assemble uh, the stem, so take a long piece of the green floral tip. Stretch it. So first take the small bud and I made these small leaves in the same way. So first I'm just going to attach the bud and a leaf, small leaf. Just wind it like this. Now take the thick wire and hold it next to the stem. Then I've made another bud. So this will also come here. Then attach these small leaves at the base. Give a little gap. You can attach a big leaf. So the leaf have about you know three centimeters long pedicel stem. So we'll just find a bit and take the flower and the flower will also have a leaf at the base. Sorry. The flower will have a shorter stem. And the leaf will have a long stem. Give a slight gap again. Attach another flower. So you can attach more leaves and more flowers and buds on a single stem, you can have more flowers like this. So now just make the leaf a little vertical, you know, perpendicular to the stem. So you have a stem like 